What's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is July 17th, 2019. It's going to be my outing number 110 of this year. And the quest for the American Pickerel continues. The Ezox Americanus. If you are an avid follower of Extreme Fully Fishing, you should know that I have been hunting this particular species of fish for quite a while, right? To be more precise, for about two months now. The last video here on the channel, I went to a creek in New Jersey, caught all the different species of fish there, but we didn't really find the American pickerel, right? If you haven't checked that video yet, I'm going to link it above. Today, we're going to be exploring a very tiny creek that is actually right behind a highly residential zone. I have heard that in this tiny, tiny creek, there are a few redfin pickerel, the Ezox americanus americanus, which is a subspecies of the American pickerel, right? If you guys know your ichthyology, you guys should know that the American pickerel has two subspecies. One is the redfin pickerel, Ezox americanus americanus, and the other one is the grass pickerel, the Ezox americanus vermiculatus. And it doesn't matter which one I catch really, right? I can add it to my species list. So let's go to the creek. I got my ultralight with me. Uh, I got some jigs, very small jigs, like trout magnet style and some aero tackle soft plastics. And hopefully, I'm really, really hoping that today is going to be the day that I'm going to add that species to my list. Stay tuned. First things first, let's take a look at the creek. It is my first time down here. I have never in my entire life been here before. <laughs> wow, okay. I mean, I knew this was going to be a tiny creek when I actually looked it up on Google Maps, but this right here, this is very tiny. I am five feet tall, right? So this creek right here is like 12 feet wide, 12 to 14 feet wide at the best. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge if the creek is overall shallow like this. Hopefully it is not. I am going to be waiting today. So, hmm, I guess we'll find out. Oh, this is the first deep hole of the day right here. This creek is actually so shallow that I was starting to doubt that there's any life over here. But this is a deeper hole. I think we will be able to pull a fish out of this place. I mean, is this really what they call a deep hole over here? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I got something. I got something, first fish of the day is coming up here. Dude, from the tiny creek comes a creek chub this big, man. Holy cow. If there's a, big, a, a creek chub, the Semotilus atromaculatus this big, do you know there may be maybe potential for, really, maybe potential for an American pickerel here. First fish of the day turns out to be a New Jersey creek chub. Oh man, so mean. Look at that, it's swimming right over here. New Jersey creek chub at its best. First species of the day. I'm always so excited when it comes to exploring new little bodies of water, especially creeks this small. So who knows? Maybe today is going to be the day. This is very weird. I don't know. Got something else. Second species of the day coming up here. <laughs> this is so easy, actually. Okay, so we got species number two of the day. Inhaled the trout magnet. It is not a pickerel. This is the Lepomis cyanellus, the green sunfish, which is an invasive species of fish in New Jersey. And the government does demand you to kill the green sunfish in New Jersey. So this fella is not going back to the water, sadly. I can see the fish down there actually. Got it, it's another creek chub. So I can see the fish down there. I do not see anything long enough to be a pickerel. So I don't know, there could be a pickerel down there, but 
I don't see it. I may move to the next hole. This is the second Creek Chub of the day. Jeez Louise, man. Who would have thought in a Creek this small, there would be Creek Chub this big. Oh, 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 easy. I think that one's good to go. Sorry about the drops, son. Uh, you're going the wrong way. Go over there, over there, dude, over there. Let me show you the way. Oh, he got it, he got it. Now he's good to go. Wow, okay. So over here, there's really just a combination of green sunfish and creek chub. I haven't caught anything else. I'm not trying micro fishing right now. So I really think it is about time for me to move to the next hole, right? Because this one's just not producing as much as I wanted to produce. I'm looking for the American, American pickerel, right? E. Got him. Got him. I think this is a different species too. I think. I'm not sure. And we got here a... Dude, what is this? Oh my goodness, so aggressive. This is a hybrid, isn't it? I think this is a hybrid. A green sunfish cross something hybrid. Dude, this is a green sunfish cross what? Pumpkin seed or bluegill hybrid? You let me know in the comment section below, all right? Oh my goodness, this is not what we're looking for. Well, 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 hybrids are not really counted towards the species. So although this is a different fish for today, it is not a new species for this video. Goodness gracious, dude, you're going the wrong way, son. Here, here, here. Let me help you a little bit. This creek sometimes is so shallow. All right, there you go. It's good. It's good. It's got to go right back there. Dude, there's something different here. There's something different here. Let me try to catch it. Oh, God. I knew it. There was different. It's a bass. It's a bass, son. There's bass in this little creek. After gazillions and gazillions and gazillions of green sunfish, we finally got a species number three of the day, a large mouth bass, the Micropterus salmoides. Well, no signs of my American pickerel, but so happy to catch something a little bit different. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> after catching green sunfish, after green sunfish, after green sunfish, Finally, a large mouth bass decided to show up, man. I'm so happy to see this fish. You guys have no idea, no idea. When New Jersey say that they got a little problem with the green sunfish being invasive and they are overpopulating some of the creeks around the area, I, I kind of understand now because I've caught so many green sunfish today, the Lepomicianellus, and I haven't even explored more than two holes in this creek, right? It is crazy. Wait, is that a fish? Or am I going crazy? I think I'm going crazy. There's no fish. There's a lot of creek chubs over here and green sunfish, but I really don't see anything else. There are some micros around. I could do some micro fishing. I just, I don't see any pickerel. Huh, so weird. Oh, look what we got here. What is this? Cool find of the day. <laughs> I found one of these before, back in the days, huh? Little toy, toy gun. Best find of the day, because the fish are definitely not collaborating. Goodness gracious, so far I have explored four holes in this particular creek and needless to say this place is filled with bait fish. There are so many creek chub and green sunfish, it's like plethora. You know, if the last video on the YouTube channel had a plethora of the white perch, the morone americana, this video right here has like a plethora of green sunfish and creek chub. But sadly, no signs of the American pickerel yet. Not, no signs of a single pickerel at all, right? In this little New Jersey 
creek so before i start hopping to the next holes here in the creek i want to do a little bit of micro fishing to find out when it comes to the ecosystem which species of micros are in here right after all this is my first time in this creek and with micro fishing you just never know right who knows maybe a new species of minnow or shiner is going to show up so i'm gonna get the tanago hook set up dig some worms and uh all right let's get get let's get some micro fishing done <sighs> there should be something around here right actually in this kind of uh this kind of soil i'm not so sure oh there's one right here dude don't run away from me i see you there's one right over here yes there we go all right that was easy recently i got into metal detecting so i always carry a garden you know one of these with me look find our night crawler here for the micro fishing because i don't have live bait with me let's get <laughs> let's get the micro fishing started Oh, he saw it, he saw it, he saw it, he saw it. Is it on it though? It's looking at it, it's looking at it. It's on it, it's on it, I got it. Damn, daughter, I mean darter. I knew it. Dude, now what type of darter is this? Is this the tessellated darter? That's the main question. As you guys can see, hooked in the mouth. Now I just need to find out what type of darter is this. I was actually so excited about this little darter right here that you guys can see. Sadly, the GoPro doesn't really zoom in too good, right? But I caught this on hook and line, as you guys saw in this video. It turns out this is just a tessellated darter, the Etiostoma Omsteady. Uh, I'm a little bit sad about it, but I mean, what can you do, right? Other options could be a shield darter or a Johnny darter. But yeah, I really believe this is just a tessellated. So that's the species number four for this particular video. And uh, we're going to do a little bit more of micro fishing. Let me release this darter over here for you guys to see. Beautiful little sample, right? In the range of maybe two inches. So Tanago hook, definitely working well. Look at that, huh? it's on top of my hand, as you guys can see it. Little tessellated darter. And now it's right over here in between the rocks, right? That's how beautiful this fish is. I am so disappointed in myself. I am so disappointed. So my GoPro was off and I just caught on the Tanago hook, hook and mouth. You guys will have to, you know, believe in me. I just caught this on hook and mouth. I already have this species, I believe, but this is up to date, folks my smallest ever Catostomus commersoni aka the white sucker this is my smallest white sucker up to date caught on hook and line i will take a few shots right now and i will try to catch another one on hook and line just to show it to you guys that it is possible let me tell you folks this is pretty nuts i have caught many white sucker in my life before but this is the smallest one for sure 100 percent the smallest white sucker that i have ever caught man Ooh. anyways i'll try to catch one by hook and mouth uh, by hook and line on the mouth and show it on the gopro just so you guys know that it is possible okay let me release this little fella over here that's crazy man this is this is this is crazy look at that Look at the size of this little white sucker. Man, GoPro does no justice to this particular species. Here, here, here. You go ahead, little fella, go ahead. Dang, dude. It's right over there. You guys can see because of the glare. Man, that's beautiful. Oh, on the mouth! What did I tell you guys? On the mouth, son! Hell yeah, EPF don't lie. EPF don't play. See that? That's a little white sucker on the mouth. Little white sucker on the mouth, son. All right, now that I've proven to you guys I can move to the next species, 
Let me put this inside the photo tank and give you guys a view. I am pretty positive that this is a white sucker and not a cut lips minnow. Let me let me double check here real quick. Yes, this is 100% a white sucker. Look at the mouth, how it stands out there, right? And the markings on its body. This is a future big white sucker. Micro fishing, man. Four white sucker, huh? Bro, who would have thought that a little white sucker would be this beautiful, huh? I mean, GoPro really does no justice to the micros. It doesn't zoom in well. But this is a beautiful sample right here. And definitely my PB, my PB small white sucker. All right, let me release this guy now. He's been in the photo tank for quite a little while. Let's put him back in the creek. This is going to be one day, hopefully, a trophy white sucker in this little creek yeah oh man being micro fishing out here no new species no nothing but at least you know some fish are biting huh who would have thought dude micro fishing for little sucker yeah it's right over there look at that that's beautiful man damn bro look at that huh? i went under the leaf got another one i think it is another white sucker I mean, whatever these things are, man, I'm catching them now. I know how to catch them now. Before, I didn't have a lot of experience when it comes to catching them, but look at that. Now, I know how to catch them. Yeah, I'm pretty much sure this is another white sucker. I don't think this is a cut lips minnow. You know, I've caught the cut lips minnow before, the exoglossum maxilingua. So sometimes I have a little bit of trouble differentiating the smaller ones. But no, this is, this is a white sucker. This is a future to be Catostomus Comersoni. All right, let me release this guy over here, man. That's that's a little beauty right here. See the sucking motion right here? Glug, 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 glug. Yeah, that's right. That's a sucking motion right there. All right, go suck some more down there. All right, dude? Go suck some beautiful ones down there. All right. They are very sensitive, though, I would like to emphasize. So let me uh, take good care of this fella right here. You saw it, being outside of the water for like less, oh, okay, burst of energy, bro. Being out of the water for like less than 15 seconds and look what happened to it. And it almost croaked on us. Now it's just back to the rock. Bro, is this what I think it is, bro? Yo, this country needs some pandas, my man. This is, this is bamboo, right? Holy moly, bro. There's not just any bamboo. This is a, uh... oh yeah, this is good bamboo right here. Where are the pandas at? Darter! <laughs> I've decided to do some more micro fishing out here. So I'm just having a blast right in front of the bamboo land here. The darters over here are at actually a little bit bigger so that is a tessellated darter for you on hook and line i know that the light over here is not prime so let me just put this one here inside the photo tank and i'm going to show you my collection thus far all caught on the tanago hook okay so so far here we got ourselves let's come here take a look under the sun uh we got ourselves here a bunch of uh, white suckers and two tessellated darter i believe yes two tessellated darter and three white suckers huh i mean this is beautiful man this is really a native fish tank right here right so far ah what can i say sometimes you find them sometimes you don't i think it is about time to call it a day i'm gonna release these little fellas now <laughs> all natives inside this little photo tank two tessellated darter three little white sucker beautiful samples all right there you have it i know you guys weren't able to see the releases but there's one tessellated darter right over here and uh, the little white sucker is swimming off right here at the back two of them yeah it is about time to call it There ain't no American pickerel here. No way, bro. No way. I mean, I don't remember which one of you guys told me that there was American pickerel here, right? I kind of looked through the list of video ideas 
in my house and all I saw was the name of this creek and American Pickerel. But let me tell you something, whoever told me there's American Pickerel over here and whoever said I've caught a lot of American Pickerel in this place, there ain't no Pickerel here, dude. Either that person was just messing around with me or that person caught a lot of um, a different species and they, he thought it was a Pickerel or something like that. I don't know, right? But needless to say, the little creek over here does have a lot of life, okay? I mean, for a tiny New Jersey creek, there was really a plethora, and I would like to emphasize again on the terminology, plethora of creek chubs and green sunfish. Uh, not to mention that, you know, I caught a few other species in this video, right? I think the biggest thing that I saw in the creek the entire day was like a, a large mouth bass about this big. And I do have to thank such individual who told me that there was American pickerel here because although I didn't catch any new species today, I did learn a very important craft in this video, which is micro fishing for suckers, all right? You guys may watch the video and just be like, well, what's the big deal, right, Leo? Right now, it's not really a big deal. Just catching a few little white sucker here and there. You see what I'm saying? But in the future, when I go to other states and I am pursuing different types of suckers, right? And uh, the red horses and the stone rollers, these skills over here may just come in handy. Anyways, this is it for today. No new species, so the quest for the Ezox Americanus is going to continue. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to a spot next time that is like almost guaranteed I'm going to catch an American pickerel. I'm telling you guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. Tight lines, folks, and take it easy.